Now, Almaz has been crazy pre-flop. They haven't really been crazy post-flop. And maybe Andre can pick up on that. You know, like he raised flop, flop, got called. Like what else could Almaz has? So it's a tough spot with bottom boat. But I mean, a fold would be really impressive. Yeah, I mean, that was fascinating. I did not think Queen 10 suited was going to find a win there, but he did find victory. Just shows you the, the kind of skills he has. That's an interesting spot. Second in chips, Andre with the Queens. Almaz just goes for the defend. I'm not familiar with Almaz as much. I mean, it seems like they play a lot on GG. Seems like they got, you know, some pretty good skills, but it's just going to be fascinating to see how they manage the uh, the massive chip lead here. And it looks like they're, they're probably going to lose another one here with a pretty good preflop hand. But Andre with the queen, queen. I'm excited to be here, Felipe. Richard Grant in the chat says, nice to see you back, Kevin. Yeah, I was the full-time host of the show for a while. Oh, my goodness. Almaz using the ace jack of spades as a bluff here. And this is not going to work. This is aggressive out of the big blind. Kind of like it. Interesting ace jack of spades. How are the two queens yeah. going to respond? It's a very, very interesting play. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> that is a naughty turn card. And the fascinating thing here is this card's actually better for Andre's range. When Almaz check raises, they're not going to have an ace all that often, but they have one here. It's kind of a weird hand. This is, this is, this is spicy here on this turn card. I'm not sure how this one's going to play out. Yeah, in uh, exactly what we were talking earlier, right? And if you have a lot of players uh, shorter shorter than yourself, so you want those players to bust, bust before you, right? So you have a lot of incentives to fold, to fold, to fold the best hand, right? You know you're going to fold the best hand more often. If you didn't have those those incentives, one hundred percent. Now Queen's in a really really tough spot here because that's already about a third of their remaining chips, and you have a hand that doesn't really improve on the river. Does call fascinating big pot two million in the middle. Wow, that's an interesting card. The backdoor flush comes in. Neither player going to have a five very often. What does Almaz do here? Two million chips in the middle. Oh no, he checked. Check, check. Yeah, and he's he's the table bully. He has all the chips and he's getting, getting all the good hands as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Some very good hands. Notice Andrew just flatting. Andrew's happy just to call, take a flop in position. You don't really want to three bet not all in. Shove's like pretty expensive as well. It makes sense to flat this hand. That's a huge flop for Andre. Moolocker flops top pair as well. Everybody here's got a little something. Yep. Yeah, and this is a great, great flat from the ace queen, as you um, said right there. Uh, definitely the best play, uh, regardless of what's going going to happen. And now you feel like you have like a the nuts, right? Top top versus cheap leader, cheap leader aggression, rainbow, rainbow board. So you gotta be feeling pretty nice yeah a little surprised that alma is best small here but i guess that's kind of you know just small size use the chip leader oh this is very fascinating bet call call multi-way pots are so interesting because it's, it's it's just a way different thing than heads up so now if we have the two tens we know we're not good okay alma is just kind of yields defeat what a weird spot for andre now It's a great turn card. So it fires one third. I think Moolocker is going to get out of the way here. And just like the, I, I think Moolocker is just going to have the senses that their Queen 10 is no good. Chip leaders behind. Don't improve on many rivers. It's top pair. Oh, no. Moolocker does call. Okay. Okay. Incorrect prediction there. I thought maybe they could ninja fold the turn. I thought that was coming. Yeah, but I don't think that's an incorrect prediction at all, because I think I think like we just said, like he's one of the best. Uh, exactly. Where we need to take really good care of our mental health too. Very well said, man. There's 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 so much going on behind like 
you know, just more than playing of the cards, real humans, real emotions, real money. Like, dude, what a great industry though, man. I, I love poker so much. It's given me so much and like little ways I can give back. I'm always going to take that opportunity for sure. Cause you know, people have helped me as well. You know, like there's a ton of people. Wow. <laughs> Five, three offsuit. Take this Nicholas. That's a crazy shove works. But uh, to win these tournaments and to survive playing high stakes, you just you just can't keep doing only the ordinary. Yeah, exactly. You got to mix it up. You have to. Yep. So maybe that's why we we can uh, establish and uh, like separate like. Um, a good chunk, good chunk of the, the top players into like the super top players, you know, and the winners, right? Mm -hmm. There'll be a lot of very good players. There will be top players and be winners overall, but they're not going to be those top, 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 top players. You know, that's a, that's another list. This is nasty from Nicholas. The limp raise bluff with King four offsuit. What does Moolocker do with King Jack? This is wild. God, what a pressure spot with this combo. Oh, and <laughs> Team Moolocker just puts it back in his grill. That was a fascinating hand. With so much opportunity for the players, uh, literally. Nicholas is going to call here. There's there's ICM. It's just too good of a spot. You're going to dominate him too much. Yep. Okay, big one. Can Almas find a six? Oh my oh. goodness. Wow. Might just be their day. It might be the day of Almaz. Unbelievable. Good game to one of the best. Table tap. Unlucky. Yeah. So so then you can make an adjustment and uh and uh realize that uh you can you can play a little weaker range and they'll still be pretty good. I think there's gonna be an all in from the fours. And a call and a big flip here. 2.7 million in the middle. Ace Queen versus Force. Let's run him. Oh, that's not a big sweaty flop. Okay, there might be some chinks in the armor here. A couple of double ups in Almaz. And still overwhelmingly in control of the situation, but maybe not running away with it like we thought they maybe might. Yep. Uh some some stacks you can work with now. Mm -hmm. 2.8, 2.7. You know, so one, one more double up and then you, you second chips. Oh, no. Oh, my. No way. Oh, oh my. my. But, now, but now, now you have a decision with second chips. Now, now you have a big decision here with this Ace King. <laughs> I think Ace King suit is going to go for the blood because if Andre wins, he's oh, the chip leader. Oh, yeah. oh Ace three. Said. This is crazy. That's what I said. Wow. Chop outs. Hunting a three. Wow, just like this. Just like this, we have a new chip leader. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's a, just, just a terrible play because if you want to apply pressure, that's a play which is called three bet. <laughs> just go ahead and three bet, three bet your opponent. You know, there's plenty of room for you to apply a three bet and put pressure. You don't need to three bet all your chips. Mm -hmm. So the three bet light on that spot with the ace three, okay. You want to yeah. do it? You want to put pressure to the second guy with the second stack? Yes, do it. But not for the for all the chips. And after oh. all we've seen. And when it rains, it pours. Look at this. Oh, my King goodness. Jack, trip nines. When it rains, it pours. This could be expensive. He this could is be crazy. Done right now. He could be done right now. He could be done. Because he can, he can overplay this hand and just be out. <laughs> the turn <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> the poker did... gods are are alive they're watching how much can he get back now good turn check from andre wow if you, if you're mule locker right now how much you regret the fold after seeing all these showdowns 100% Moolocker right? must regret that ace-king fold after seeing so many yeah. ace-x off shoves. That's, 
That's what I mean. You need to be in the zone. It doesn't matter if you're one of the best players out there. You need to be in the zone when you play. You need to be like totally focused. I don't yeah. know what he's doing right now. If he's grinding multiple tables on a normal Tuesday grind, or if it's just like one table in this final table, it's a lot of money uh, from his office or from, I don't know, from the cell phone, from the bathroom. I don't know. GG 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 app is pretty nice. I often GG play, play from my bathroom. Yeah. I play from my bathroom pretty often. So that, that, that that's why that's what I mean. Goes big for value. Uh, it's, it's this isn't this would be a really nice fold from Andre considering all the crazy action. Now Almas has been crazy pre-flop. They haven't really been crazy post-flop. And maybe Andre can pick up on that. You know, like he raised flop, flop, got called. Like what else could Almas has? So it's a tough spot with bottom boat. But I mean. A fold would be really impressive. Yeah, it makes totally sense. You crack the hand, you crack down the hand. So this guy has not been very active post flop. So every time he bets post flop, he's got it. How how you play a jack here? You 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 check call the check raise. You bet the turn and you go for value on the river. So a bunch of hands here four handed. Sixes, ace, jack, ace, ten. Wild ride this final table has been. Almaz was up to almost nine million. What does Novak do here with Ace Ten? Playing from Ukraine, the Ukrainian players are strong. Two of the winners of the World Series of Kmart were from Ukraine. He does go for the squeeze. I was wondering if that was coming. Now, I think sixes just have to fold, and then Almez is going to probably call. We're going to see a big pot here between the two chip leaders. Yeah, I'll tell you, I'll tell you that this, this hint can work, and I'll say you the first reason why I don't like, because it's not a regular three-bet spot. You're playing versus an opponent that doesn't have a fold button pre-flop. He has seen all the flops. Right, and then you have to play your ace ten post flop on a nine seven seven. Now good luck, right? Actually, it's a pretty amazing board for you to see back. Pretty good spot for you to be in, so you're probably gonna win. But I don't think that's ideal. I think that let's say if you have like uh, Lena on the on the on that spot, you know, on the bottom, it's a yeah. way better spot for you to apply some pressure with the three bet because the, the three bet is obviously obviously light you don't like your a stand and you say oh look at my hand how strong i am right now so i'm gonna put another bet no you, you you're just thinking i'm gonna put this bet over here and i'm gonna try to take down pre-flop some connection here Between the two shorter stacks. What a great feeling, though. You're three-handed, 200K locked up. Life is good. Going for more. Damn, you bluffing. don't really love to pair, right? King Where seven is? is bluffing. Almaz just going to call. Ooh, this is interesting. It's Maslak fire the river now, just with king high, no spade. It'd be a little weird because when they bet the turn, they're not going to bet two pair or a set on this connected board. Now that it pairs, now the story is a little interesting. Can queen 10 find the correct call? This is a defining moment right here. Almaz, oh, quickly folds the best hand. My all-in game the last month has been, has been oh, wow, we're going to experience another all-in here. Same situation, pair versus ace-king. Oh, kick. my goodness. Two monsters. It could be massive. Massive. Meanwhile, Maslak on the sideline keeps watching these massive all-ins. He's just begging to get heads up. Had an opportunity there. We'll have a second opportunity here. 
Deja vu, exactly the same hand. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't think I, now he's gonna take a little longer to to shove. And uh, but I don't see him getting away with it. It makes no sense, uh, especially for all that happened. But that's what maybe he should have done in the past hand, you know. When he got clicked back, he shoved those nines too too fast. Uh, your opponent doesn't. Do, it was first time your opponent is for betting and clicking, so I I think it's standard to stack off with that hand. But Got a little, I think it's going in. Anyways. They're just having a little fun. They're just having a little pre-flop flood here, clicking it back and forth. All right. Wow. This is for most of the chips in play. Ace King versus Queens. Wow, heart as well. Big river card. Oh, the king of spades. Oh, my goodness. Andre Novak. If you want to be a tournament player, you got to study all the phases of the tournaments because that's very, very, very important. Here we have a situation where uh, both players have a little piece of this flop, right? Gut shot, and of course, the open-ended straight flush draw came out. Wow. What am I coming back to here? My goodness. Yep. So, Maslach bet the flop. Uh, Almost with the monster hand, just check called and saw the turn beautiful to your clubs, and Maslach keep firing. Wow, I wonder if he's gonna call again because if you just oh beautiful. Oh beautiful. So six seven is the best hand. Yep. I think he's fighting. I think he's fighting, Kmart. Because he has a he has a lot to give up for because he's the aggressive player free. He bet all the streets. I think he's going for the triple barrel. Wow, great call, Felipe. Oh, a six beats him in the pot. Uh, there was, uh, I, let's focus on the action, of course, but yeah, there's a nice story of like, yeah. Tens with a chance to double, but this could be it. Aces have, have, have been hot. There it is. That, this, is this is it. Wow. This is it. 95% to win the tournament. It's not there. There's your champion, Almaz. Started the table day as the chip leader. Put on a show. It was not easy, but Almaz gets the job done for 317000 Good game to our second-place finisher, Mazlak, for a quarter million.